Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're diving into the world of paint polishing or paint correction once again. Today we're working on a Shelby GT500. So it is a black vehicle with soft paint. So this is gonna be great for this demonstration. I will show you the process that I go through and the system that I use in order to tackle paint like this. So let's get right into it. From all the years experience I have working on vehicles that are black and different paint systems, I can tell you that you're gonna run into three different issues. Now these three main issues I have come across myself and I'm sure many detailers in their careers have come across themselves as well, is the first issue is gonna be finding out what type of paint system you're working on. Now you want to identify what type of paint system you're working on so you know what method or what approach to take. Now when you first get here, you don't know what type of system you're working on. So you don't know if it's set, if it's soft paint or if it's hard paint. The second issue you're gonna run into is right off the bat, you're not gonna know what's gonna remove the swirls. So you have a lot of swirls here and you think, hey, if I use a yellow a yellow pad on a dual action polisher and a medium polish, it might just remove all of that. And it's very likely it will remove the scratches, but it will leave you behind with a third issue, which is hazing. Now, if you cause hazing on the paint at that point, you just don't know how to clean that up or what to do. And that would be the third main issue. Now, from the years I've been doing this, I developed a system that works in order to find out what type of paint I've been working on and find out what works on the paint as far as removing the swirls and leaving a nice clean finish on the paint. I'm gonna walk you through this system. So I'm gonna walk you through the system that I go through and show you exactly what my thought process is like in order for you at home to identify this process and possibly use it in order to correct your own paint. So my next step is gonna be showing you the system. So let's get to that. Finding a polish and pad combination that works on the vehicle is absolutely crucial. The best thing that you can do is have a system from least aggressive to most aggressive in order for you to test out what works best and, how, and define the paint system before you start tackling it. As you can tell here, we have a selection of pads and a selection of polishes. Now what you can see here from left to right, I have a black pad, white pad, I have a yellow pad and a blue pad. So they're, from, they're going from left to right, from least aggressive to most aggressive. Likewise, up here in the polish selection, I have a selection of polishes that goes from least aggressive to most aggressive. So I know when I first want to start polishing, I know to start with the least aggressive system. So the best way that I would approach this, I would use a black pad. So I would start the process with a black pad, which is a very soft pad. This one's by Chemical Guys, but you can also get it from Lake Country Manufacturing. They also have a CCS black fine pad as well. It's a little bit more affordable than this than this pad right here. And then what I would do is I would use my least aggressive polish. And in this case right here would be the Manzerna 3800. Or actually, I can also use 210. Now, if I test this combination together as a first go and it works effectively, then I know that for sure I am working on a soft paint system. Now that helps me define right away off the bat. Okay, we're working with a soft paint system. Now I know what system is gonna work in order to remove the defects and what's gonna work to polish the vehicle all in one step. So I will not have to come and tackle the vehicle with any other pads, I will just use that system. Now, if that doesn't work effectively, then I will move a step up. So I would either combine the Manzerna 3800 here or the Meguiar's 210 with a white pad. Now the white pad is a little bit more aggressive than the black pad, as you can tell. The black pad is a lot more cushiony than the white pad, thus leaving the white pad a little bit more aggressive. So it would definitely be a step up from the black pad. Now, if that doesn't work effectively, then I understand that the paint system is not very soft. Then I would probably try something like the yellow pad because that would, in, if this works, then it would indicate to me that I'm working on a medium soft paint system. Now, as you can tell here, we're moving, we're moving into a little bit more of an aggressive system. It's a little less plush. The, the pad itself just feels a bit more aggressive. And that right there would let me know that we're working on a medium system. Now, if I if that fails, I would probably try something like the blue pad. 
Now, the blue pad is for very hard paint. Uh, I would try to avoid using something like this, honestly. I would hope that the yellow works best or I would try a microfiber or a wool pad and see what that works. But I don't have any of those here. I don't want to confuse you with this system. We're just trying to find out what works in soft paint. So this is the system that I will use in place. I suggest that you follow this system at home if you like in order to, to attempt and define what paint you have on your vehicle. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to test the panel. So we're going to split the panel into two pieces and we're going to be using the black pad. So I'll be using the black pad and the Mernzerna 3800. So we're going to try this combination out and we're going to see if it works out for us. Now, if this combination works, then we know that we don't have to get more aggressive here. So this is going to be our last, our first and last step. Split it right here. And I'm going to be working on this side of the vehicle. So I'm gonna apply a couple of beads here on the polish, on the pad. Spread them on my, on my panel. I'm gonna put the machine to speed one here in order to spread the product around. Now that my product is on the panel, I'm gonna put the polisher to speed three and I'm just gonna work the area. All right, that's enough. That was about three passes or so. So now we're gonna remove the product from the surface. And at this point, what we can do is go ahead and remove the tape. Make this clean right here. And we're gonna see what our panel looks like. So as you can tell, there were swirls here very swirly on this side. And the Manzerna 3800 with the pad seems to have done the job. Now, all right, so there you have it. So the black pad and the Manzerna 3800 work effectively here. So now we know that this is what we're gonna be using for the rest of the vehicle. There's no need to step up. There's no need for us to get more aggressive. That worked effectively, it removed all of the scratches that were on that panel or 99% of them and it left a really nice finish on there. So as you can tell, something so fine as a black pad in Manzerna 3800 can work very effectively on certain types of paint. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna work on every car that you come by, but on this specific vehicle, it has worked effectively and it's very likely that it might even work effectively on yours. So there you go. Now we found out that the black pad in the Manzerna 3800 worked effectively. We don't have to step up, the system is we can disregard the rest of the system and just work the vehicle. All right, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Just know that now you have a great system in place that it's almost guaranteed to give you good results. Follow the system step by step and you'll, you're will you almost sure to get great results on a black soft paint vehicle such as this one. Now, I know it's gonna be a little bit tricky and not all of you is gonna work perfectly. I'm not saying that it will, but it's gonna cover the majority of you and you have at least a safe, good way to approach paint polishing and paint correction on, on your vehicle. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna continue polishing the rest of the vehicle. Once I'm done, I'm gonna apply a ceramic coating in order to protect the vehicle and all the hard work that I did. If you have any comments or any questions, leave them down below. If you got any stories, share them. Share them with the rest of us. We'd love to hear your stories. And as you know, if you found this video informational or at the very least entertaining, hit that subscribe button and until next time, peace.